I finally found my ultimate ISO legend build in 2K21. The build that can become a dribble god at any point and unlock every single park drill move and every pro drill move in the entire game. While also being able to speed boost off rip, it can shoot from anywhere across the floor. I'm talking park, stage, fades, contested whites, contested greens, low energy, it does not matter. This build is shooting consistent from anywhere on the court. It doesn't matter if it's threes, twos, whatever. So you have to respect its shot. Oh, and if you step up, you're gonna get dropped because this build will drop any build in the game. It doesn't matter if you're a lockdown, a center, a guard, you will get dropped on the floor. And even if it's four game point, this build can run the one, the two, the three. It can defend any build on the court it does not matter and it gives gold showtime for them showtime dunks this build can literally do everything what is good youtube it's your boy henry aka double hd and i am back at it with yet another banger drop a like on this video if you guys want more legend build videos because i have a ton of builds as you guys know and let me know if you guys want to see gameplay of those builds at legend Drop a like on the video if you guys are excited for NBA 2K22. Speaking of NBA 2K22, I just dropped my first ever Discord server. I'm going to drop a link in the description. Join my Discord. We're going to be doing a bunch of stuff in there for 2K22, like 2K22 giveaways. There's going to be rooms and chats where you can join and find teammates if you need any teammates or just lounges where we can talk and shit. It's going to be super lit for NBA 2K22, so go join the Discord right now. The link will be in the description. Anyways, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. 500k on the way. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make this new build that I made at Legend. And I made this build specifically for, specifically for Legend. And I grinded it all the way to 99 max badges before I even hit Legend. Yes, this build is good with or without the extra badges. But obviously, at least some of the gameplay I'm going to be showing you guys today is, or actually most of it, is going to be Legend gameplay. I'm going to show you guys what the build is capable at Legend. Of course, how to make the build, the 99 overall stats, the badges, and why I use those badges. I'm going to be showing you guys the jump shot i use with this build too and the drill moves too so you know what i'm saying hey, make sure y'all you know like the video because i'm really plugging y'all with the jump shot and the drill moves but anyways let's go ahead and get into the gameplay of this demigod legend build let's get it Okay, so I have some gameplay for you guys today. So obviously this build can dribble crazy. I'm talking unlocks all the park dribbles, speed boost off rip, break ankles just like that. And it's really like fast, especially with playmaking takeover. It's like I already had like a 96, 97 speed, but now with play take, it's like I have a hundred speed, you know? And even when I don't have takeover, I still, you know, as the takeover goes up, I just get faster and faster. So the more points I get, even if I get one rebound, look at, look at me just dropping dudes to the floor. Especially when I get takeover, I'm literally just unguardable because people will either hold B because they don't want to get broke. They don't hold B, they're going to get put on the floor just like that right there. So it's like this bill is not only super fast, but it's really just unguardable, especially considering it can it gets like a 71 driving dunk. It gets a really good three-pointer, Hall of Fame shooting badges. Look at I, I really pointed at him. Like, no, nah, this build's disrespectful, bro. It's really disrespectful. It's very fun, too. That's another thing I want to make sure y'all know. Like, this build, if you want to have fun on this game, this build is hella fun, especially playmaking takeover. Like, playmaking takeover, I don't know why a lot of people don't use it because it's actually hella fun to use like look at game point put them on the floor and y'all already know i got ice in my veins this build also does a lot of other things like obviously the dimer is really overpowered with play tag also i get a lot of rebounds i have max wingspan i have good rebound ratings look at the oh my god the playmaking dimer is like juiced if nobody misses off my playmaking takeover and my defense is also very good see i'm literally stripping dudes i'm you know Leap. I get out rebounded. He's trying to do a pause and look at the defense. Like that's a six eight pure red that's trying to pause at me. Look at this big post score, easy block. Another dude that tries to come in the paint, easy block. Like I think one of these games, it was this game right here. I had three blocks. Look at I already have takeover. I have takeover. It's zero to zero. I got three blocks and I, I got takeover. Look at that. Just shooting over people. The shooting on this build is absolutely ridiculous. It doesn't matter how long I dribble for. It doesn't matter how low my energy is. It doesn't matter if I mistime it. White, green is going in. This build is crazy. I could even fade with this build if I want to, but not nah, like, especially this jumper. I'm going to show you guys the jump shot in this video as well. The jump shot is chicken. Like, look at me. I just shot in his mitt, like, right in front of him. And look at this right here. Like, I over dribbled so bad. Then I shoot a contested white. It still dropped. Like, dude, look at this. That was a clean move, low key. Big greens. Like, if I'm open, 
I'm shooting greens and a lot of some people actually just leave me wide open until they realize like I'm just not gonna miss a shot and look at like even if you're playing up on me I'm still greening and that's the best part of this battle the best part about this build is that you have to play up and even if you do play up I got play take so I'm gonna be fast I can just go right by you I have the park dunks I have hella dunk packages and it's gonna be an easy dunk every time and if you double team I have play take so you know what I'm saying? Look at me fading. Oh my god. I have play take so I can pass it to my teammate. He's not missing with play take in the corner. So this build is really good ISO. You can take screens with this build. You could really just have a lot of fun with this build. Like, look at me. I'm just dribbling. I'm just dribbling for days. I'm just at this point, I'm just spamming the right stick. You know what I'm saying? Little Chris Paul Magnut right there. Uh nah, this build is hella fun. Very fun to use. Um, very fast, can shoot well, can drive well, can dribble well. Look at me, like, I'm just doing anything. I'm really just having fun with this build. The build is very fun to use. Uh, it gets a lot of, like I said, bro, this is the lineup we were running right here. Uh, I had my deep range shocker, that's what the build is called, and then Ermi had his lock and his play shot out in different gameplays. But I'm gonna show you guys some gameplays right here. So you got this post score posting me up. Look at my defense, bro. Look at, we get a yellow, and I secure the rebound on a 7-3 post score. And a lot of these dudes, they just double team, right? So, Army wasn't playing so well this game. You're going to see him missing a lot and stuff. He threw a turnover, and it was kind of just a hell game. But my defense and my rebounding and kind of like the other like little things this build does. Look at me. I'm boxing out, getting rebounds. Look at jumping up for the board or the lob, stopping the lob. Like, it's really just overpowered. A lot of, like, if I'm kicking into the corner, he misses, I can get the rebound a lot of the time because, once again, I have max wingspan. I'm 6'5". I, I can put on rebound chaser, but in none of these gameplays, I had a rebound chaser. And look at, these dudes just double teaming me. Look at, Ermi misses wide open. I don't know what was going on with Ermi this game, but he was missing wide open. These dudes were just completely sold on just double teaming me every play. I get, well, once again, we secure another rebound. It's like 9-2 to two right here. Look at, the center sitting in the paint. And then this dude's guarding me. So they're guarding my drive, my shot. They just want Ermi to sell at this point. This dude greens. He's going crazy, right? I get the board back. Once again, look, look at how many rebounds I have. I've scored like two points and I have takeover. And my teammate is playing terrible. That's how you know this build is not only competing on the boards of the post board, getting in the lanes, playing good defense, hitting its open shots. So even when my teammate is playing bad, I can still do the little things to get us the W and then even if he's shooting bad he ain't gonna be shooting too bad when I have played take right and then obviously I could just shoot from anywhere so when they don't secure the double team I'm just gonna score every possession another gameplay right here is you see I get the wide open drive we're just playing some stage twos I'm not gonna miss open that's another thing about this build that I want y'all to know especially with this jump shot I am not missing open I can shoot contested sometimes too it's really it, this build just shoots like a play shot you know what I'm saying I'm making my whites I don't even have flexible release on this build yet I I should probably put that on, but I don't have that on right now. Yeah, like I said, this build can drive, it can shoot, it can dribble, it's fast, it can defend. There's nothing this build can't do. It can play the one on the twos, it can play the two on the twues, it can play on the one v one court, it can play on the threes. It really can do everything. You can literally run double guards out here, and that's what I was doing with Ermi right here. We're literally running a play shot and then my build. Like, I'm literally playing at center, and we just didn't lose. We didn't lose a single game. We were playing on the stage. We were playing in the park. We just weren't losing. We were just messing around. Look at that, that game right there. I did not miss a single shot. This game right here, you see an elite three pull-up. This dude probably played us like five times. Did not beat us a single time. This game in particular, this was like their fourth attempt. And look at, look at the guy who's guarding me right now. He is just hugging me. Look at how much respect my build is getting after they see me green up in the previous games. Now look at, I draw the double team. My teammate's wide open. Unfortunately, he misses. But I'm, get, I'm setting my teammates up for success. Look at, great defense. We get the rebound right. But once again, these dudes have already played me like four times. So look at, I just want you guys to pay attention to how close they're guarding me and how much they're just double to me and just all the attention is on me. That's what's so good about this build. All the attention is going to be on you. Once they see your greening, once they see that this build is just not guardable, they're not even paying attention to your teammate. You know what I'm saying? Look at me. I just out-rebounded a big-ass center. Like, bro, this build, I'm telling you, it is insane what this build can do. You see the last possession. They just weren't even respecting Ermi at that point. They were so committed to the double team. This game right here, this is one of those games where I just literally didn't miss. I think I went five for five from three. One of them was a white. Uh, I got takeover, got a couple dunks. Just didn't miss a shot. And that's going to happen a lot of the times with this build. You're just not going to miss 
Um, the only times I'll really give up the ball with this build, unless it's in like a really competitive game, is just me messing around where I'm just dribbling for 23 seconds, just spamming dribble moves, having fun with it, right? But anyways, that's the gameplay for the build. Let's go ahead and go on to the build reveal. It's 99 stats and all of its badges. Okay, y'all, so here is my build. Yes, it is called a deep range shocker. I'm gonna show you guys my jump shot, my drill moves, my badges, all that stuff, how to make the build as well in this video. So let's go ahead and just look at its stats at 99 overall, okay? So here are the stats at 99. Um, you get a 96 speed, 95 acceleration, a 17, 72 vertical, 99 stamina. Now, once again, when I have play take or even when I'm like somewhat close to play take, my speed just goes through the roof. So it's basically like 100 speed, 99 speed, whatever you want to call it. Same with the acceleration. Um, now, when it comes to driving, like I said, I do get park dunks so I can put on showtime and get the showtime dunks. Um, especially with the extra legend badges that goes crazy with gold showtime. I get an 84 driving layup. Very, you know what I'm saying? I'd be, I'd be finishing some pretty contested layups sometimes. Now, my three-pointer is an 87. Trust me, that is actually very good. An 87 three-pointer for this build is very good, especially for max wingspan. Works out perfectly. 84 mid-range, great as well. I don't, I don't miss open, especially with this jump shot. 87 ball handle so I get speed boost off rip. And then my defensive stats are all max. All of these stats, if you go back in the builder, you can't make them higher than this. So I got max my interior defense. I got 80 stats. I got an 86 steal. 74 rebound which is actually pretty good. 54 offensive rebound. And I just maxed all those stats out. So this is, I'm not going to lie, all around, you know what I'm saying? I get pretty much an 80 plus in every category, which is pretty good. Now, if we look at my badges. This is with Legend, right? Now, like I said in the beginning of the video, this build works very well without Legend. Um, obviously, it's not going to be as good, but I used this build before Legend, and it was perfectly fine. But here are the stats at Legend and the builds and stuff. Now, here are the badges after Legend. Now, obviously, if I didn't have Legend, I would probably just put Bronze Contact Finisher go with that. But with Legend, these are the badges I'm rocking with. It is crazy, bro. The, the bad, the, the shooting badges, I don't even need half these badges. If I, if I didn't have, you know, the 10 extra, I'd probably take off this. Uh, we'd probably take off Tireless Shooter and then probably take off, you know, Clutch Shooter and Volume Shooter a little bit. I'll just go with that, and that's that's 20 right there. That, that would still be fine. The Playmaking Badges, once again, it's the same thing. I wouldn't need tight handles. You know, we could take off a couple other things here. You go Bronze Unpluckable. You know, I might not need Bail on Silver. You know, it's just like the little things. You put this Silver, you put this down. I, you know, I don't need the 10 extra, but it's nice to have. Once again, with the defense, I could take off Interceptor, take off, you know, Rebound Chaser, Chase Down Artist, and the defense is still fine. A lot of Some of those clips, especially when I was breaking ankles, were actually when I was an Elite 3 and I wasn't even a Legend yet. But yeah, here are the badges. I still got two more defensive badges to go that I haven't even gotten. Probably put that on Gold Rebound Chaser. But yeah, the, I mean, this badge count is ridiculous at Legend. This is just insane. Now, another thing is, let's go ahead and look at the jump shot I have on. Now, you can see, when I go to my, my, my animations, we'll also show you guys the drill moves that I'm using in all these clips. The jump shot is called Exum. You know, I got the Stephen Curry pull-ups. Here are my drill moves, by the way. You guys can screenshot this, copy this down. These are the drill moves I use um, in this game, in these gameplays and everything I showed and on stream. Uh, make sure you guys turn on notifications, by the way. I do be streaming this build all the time. And then here's my driving, you know, animation. He's got my long athlete, got some rim grazer, unblockable dunks. And then the park dunk that I use that never gets blo blocked is Dunkestein. You guys can use that. And then my green animation, if y'all want my green animation, is the wave. I'm sure y'all already know that that green animation has been in the game for a while now. Anyways, jump shot. My jump shot is XM. Let's go to the jump shot creator. So here it is. This is the XM jump shot I use. Base XM, release Aldridge, release to Rudy Gay. We can show you guys the percentages as well. I do 100%. Yes, I do a 4 out of 4 speed jump shot. It's going to get some time for y'all to get used to. You know what I'm saying? You can go 3 out of 4. But trust me, it is so unstoppable. 4 out of 4 with Playmaking Takeover. You are just so fast, so unguardable. Very hard to get to you, especially with Hall of Fame Deadeye. Animation blending, we got 55, 45. But yeah, those are the jumps. That's the jump shot I use. Those are the drill moves I use. That's everything I use. Make sure to drop a like on this video for me. Just plugging in this stuff and not making an extra video, you know, on a jump shot or drill moves. I just, I'm just gonna put it in the build video for y'all. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump into how to exactly to make this build. Okay, we are in the build creator now. If you skip to this part of the video to make the build, make sure you guys go watch the gameplay and you know, I also show my jump shot, my drill moves, all that stuff that I use on this build. Make sure to go do that so you guys can get all that information and make sure to drop a like on this video if this video is helpful for you guys. Anyways. The position, I go with shooting guard. 
shooting guard left-handed you guys can go right-handed it really don't matter but i picked shooting guard because you get better stats and baddies at least for me um yellow and green pie chart just it's literally the best pie chart in the game this year it's like the yellow red from 2k20 um the yellow red was the best pie chart that 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 year and the yellow green is by far just the best jump the best one this year for sure um i'm gonna go speed pie chart so i can be as fast as possible and then now we're gonna get to the stats right so you're gonna max your driving layup max your driving dunk and then that's it for driving okay you're not gonna you know if you try to get more finishing badges, it's gonna take look at how much attributes it takes like look at this i still only have one driving badge like it takes me all the way look at how many attributes like oh my i could upgrade all the way to this and still only have one driving badge this is not worth your points or your attribute upgrades to put in driving so just leave it at that you can get bronze contact finisher that's enough and especially if you're a legend you don't you know you're gonna have a 10 extra so it's not gonna matter now with the shooting you're going to max your three-pointer max your free throw then when it comes from mid-range you're gonna put it to an 84 now if you really want to and you want to just get the play shot name i didn't want the play shot name you could just do max mid-range put down the free throw to 84 but i don't the mid-range you know first of all i'm not even gonna shoot that many mid-ranges number one number two an 88 mid-range at 99 overall is going to be way more than good enough you know what i'm saying or 84 mid-range whatever it might be it's gonna be way more than good enough to be able to shoot from the midi so i don't even need that so I'll, i'm just gonna stick with that but if you want the mid-range to be higher just go with this and you're gonna get like a different name but it's gonna, it's gonna be the same build right so anyways going on to the playmaking max your ball handle you're gonna put your post moves to a 63 and then you're gonna put your pass accuracy to a 79 which is gonna give you 19 playmaking badges and once again if you lower any of these it goes down to 18 knowing that we maximize our playmaking same with the shooting it would go to 19. uh now defense literally maxing everything out this is the best thing about this build is you just can just max everything out now the offense rebounds only going to go to a 48 but how how far would it even go a 54 like okay a minus six on the offensive rebound, not that big of a deal but anyways we get 10 defensive badges which is the most you can get on this build on this pie chart so we max on defensive badges which is a huge w and defensive stats basically that's one of the best things about this build anyways going on to body shape i have compact height six five do not go six six your ball handle will go two down word and six four it's like okay i only go a plus one ball handle nothing really changes much and my speed wouldn't change at all so you may as well go with six five now at the weight i went 178 a couple pounds above uh minimum weight and then wingspan max wingspan yes your, your defense is gonna be way better you're gonna be able to shoot over people a little bit uh it's just gonna be all around better you know you're gonna get more shock and test it's just way better for defense which is really what, what makes this build a lot better especially with rebounds and stuff so yeah you're gonna max wingspan it's gonna increase your driving dunk a bunch of your defensive stats and, and it's really not gonna affect your shooting or your dribbling you're still gonna be able to speed boost off rip you're gonna, still gonna be able to shoot consistently and then takeover now you can go with whatever takeover you want shit you want to go shot creating takeover go for it you want to go with sharp takeover go for it you want to go with lock takeover like my three-point playmaker go for it but what i think makes this build the most fun is playmaking takeover putting people on the floor making yourself way faster at six five with max wingspan it's just all around better and it makes your teammates way better too so i went with playmaking takeover and that is going to give me the deep range shot creator build hopefully you guys enjoyed this video make sure to drop a like on this video subscribe to the channel if you guys are new this is by far you know except for maybe the three-point playmaker it's pretty much the same as the three-point playmaker um with a couple different changes especially with the takeover this is by far my favorite build on nba 2k21 current gen definitely is very fun let me know in the comments if you guys made this build and how and if you know if you like it or not let me know but anyways it's been your boy henry aka double hdf and i'm out y'all peace i ain't never had no friends i was all alone she ain't never called my phone she left me on my own they say no girls are the same brother than my dog she said can you stay with me now i got a girl diamond dripping off my deck it's